Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at putting stuff into your clipboard from a script. So if you want to grab the output of an application or uh, automate grabbing text from a file and putting it into your clipboard so you can paste it somewhere, that's what we're going to do today. And we're going to be using XClip. Uh, there's other applications I think that kind of do this, like uh, that's called. There's one called X Clipboard, uh, which I haven't really messed with. X Clip is what I normally use, um, and you'll have to install it. So sudo apt install X Clip uh, should do that. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to worry about that. So again, on Debian-based systems, use whatever package manager you like: apt, apt-get, aptitude, or some GUI package manager for some reason. Anyway, so how does XClip work? Well, you can just pipe files and or text into it and it adds it to your clipboard. Now, as we talked about in our last video, uh, on Linux you have multiple clipboards. Uh, you have the one that is, uh, as soon as you highlight something, is then copied into your clipboard that you can center click to paste. And then there's your standard one that you can, you know, highlight something and in most cases uh, control C or if you're in your shell control shift C or you can right click and say copy and at that point then you can control V uh, control shift V in a, in a shell or right click and say paste uh, so again if I now highlight this so fort is in one clipboard if I hit uh, uh, right click and click paste it clicks fort it says pastes for it. If I start center clicking, you can see it clicks, it pastes what I have highlighted, uh, Metal X 1000 Fort. So again, we went over that in the last video, so be sure to check that out if you haven't yet. Um, so by default, XClip puts it into your selection clipboard, which is whatever you have highlighted. So let's say I was to echo HTTP colon forward slash forward slash films by Chris.com. I can pipe that into XClip. And now if I center click, it pastes that URL, uh, as well as the new line character because Echo automatically puts one in. So if I don't want that, I should be able to do dash N. And now if I paste it, it doesn't put that new line in. Um, but you can, you know, if I do date, just as an example, I can put that into X clip and now I can center click and it pastes the date command in there, uh, which is very useful. I can uh, also tell it to look at files and get the information from files. So first of all, let's really quick look at the XClip man page, uh, which has lots of information in here and some good examples. I always say it's not a good man page if it doesn't have good examples and apparently they feel the same way, uh, which is awesome. Uh, so here are some examples, uh, but we're going to be looking at getting the content of a file like so. so if I was to create a file, I'll just use Vim to create a file in my temp folder. I'll call it clip.txt. And then I can put some stuff in here. Hello world. I'll save that. And then I can just say what you could do. You could say uh, cat out that file into xclip. And now I can center click and it pastes it. Or you should be able to just tell xclip to look at that file and I believe in the man page it says uh, dash T was the option for that but by default if you don't pipe something to to it it, it go ahead and does that but uh, I've noticed when I do that yep so yeah so you don't need that dash T hello is not a command but uh, you should just be able to give it a file and that works for uh, multiple line files too so if I was to this is a test I should be able to still tell xclip to look at that file and now if I center click boop, it pastes all the lines of that file so it you know just like your clipboard normally would it can hold multiple lines of text uh, so that is putting things into your clipboard next video we'll look at pulling things out of your clip oh I almost forgot so that was your center click your selection uh, clipboard you can also tell it to go to another clipboard. If you want to go to your clipboard where you press uh, control V or when you right click and paste, because right click and paste is still doing what I highlighted before and said copy. Uh, what you can do is, so let's just say uh, that we're going to echo that in there. We can do dash selection uh, and we'll say clipboard. 
And that's all I get to put it in the standard clipboard. Now I can do that and I can right click and say paste and it pastes that. And again, if we look at the man file uh, and we do select, I'll just search through this for selection, blah, 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 standard, uh, somewhere in here, target, yeah, that, blah, 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 selection, here we go. So uh, the selection, uh, it will use your primary or secondary, uh, and you can uh, also in here, I believe somewhere where I wrote out the full uh, clipboard, there is a way to abbreviate that. Let's see if I can find that. Pretty sure I read. Yes. So, note that only first character of a selection specify will uh, with a selection command is important. This means that P, sec, and clip will have the same effect as primary, secondary, and clip. So uh, you can shorten that up if you want. You can do selection P for your primary. Uh, and I guess you could just do, they don't say it, but you should be able to just do uh, selection S or C for the, uh, for the other options there. Uh, so again, quick review. I can say just, I can pipe something into it. So here I'm going to echo my URL into clip. X clip and I can now center click to paste if I want to it to go to my other clipboard where I can control V control shift V or right click and paste I want to tell it uh, dash selection clipboard and we should be able to do that yep and uh, just to chat try it out let's do this let's just give it I'll say s let's see if I do dash C and if I control shift V yep so you don't you don't even need to write out clipboard you just do C there and if you want to go to your other clipboard, you just leave it blank. Just say X clip. Anyway, again, in the next video, so we were putting stuff in our clipboard. In the next video, we're going to be looking at pulling things out of our clipboard. Uh, so if you copy something or highlight something, your script can grab it, which is very useful if you want to have a script do something with text once it's highlighted. So we'll look at that next time. I do thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description. Be sure to check that out. You can search through all my videos. Support me over at patreon.com forward slash mailx1000. I hope that you have a great day.